Score, and our partners are celebrating future leaders. Every month we award a high school student. They have to excel in science, technology, engineering, or math. Ashton Altieri joining us now to introduce us to this month's winner. There are so many young people doing so many incredible things in our state, and this is just one way that we're recognizing many of those great things. Maya Hunter is a sophomore at Cherry Creek High School, but she has so many tech projects going, I'm not sure how she finds the time to go to class. We have our world issue that we're solving, right? Maya Hunter is harnessing the energy of fourth graders to solve global crises. I love working with the fourth graders because they're just so curious about kind of everything that's around them. She volunteers at home elementary school. You know, one group is developing a drone to pick up trash and one group is developing a laptop that has a solar power. The bigger lesson for these girls is to use technology to make lives better. A mission Maya embraces herself. She's created an online community called Pediatric Pals. It's a program where we connect two pediatric patients together. Pediatric Pals will be a secure connection for kids who have to stay in the hospital. She came up with the idea through her volunteer work at Swedish Medical Center. And I met um, a little girl, she was a burn patient, and she was always so lonely in the hospital. And it just really made me think about how we could combat this loneliness. This Cherry Creek High School sophomore has already done two internships, one at the Cell and Developmental Biology Lab on the Anschutz Medical Campus. So I helped um, one of the researchers there with his um, project about how um, radiation and chemotherapy affects taste buds. The other internship was at National Jewish, where Maya helped write a medical paper. I was gathering data from the CDC and studying the epidemiology of common variable immunodeficiency. Hunter hopes to one day work in pediatric trauma care. In the meantime, she continues to teach the next generation of students to embrace technology and the big issues facing our world. They can be scary, these worlds issues, but we're taking them and we're making them less scary. So that's kind of allowing them an opportunity to become leaders. So we think she's cool and we're glad yeah. to introduce you. Maya also teaches robotics to kindergartners and is starting a teen science cafe in Denver. Well, if you know a high school student who is excelling in the STEM fields, you can nominate them for our future leader award by visiting cbsdenver.com. That was so cool, Ashton. It probably was really neat to meet her. It was neat to meet her, but I'll tell you, I, I felt stupid by the end of my conversations with her, though.